hands lifted. Whoever ever declare that you deserve all the glory. Yes, you deserve all the honors. And we'll forever, your children, we will humble ourselves and give you praise.
anybody grateful he has kept you? We should have been dead and gone, but you kept us. Thank you, Lord, you kept us. Thank you for providing. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Thank you, God. So thank you. Yeah. 
honor into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. May the Lord have a blessing to the reason and noise and doers of his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Oh, bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. God is so good. He is so awesome. He is so awesome. And praise God. I am Lady Sheila Simpkins. And I would like to thank God. I would like to uh, welcome everyone that's here today. Everyone that may be on Zoom or Facebook or wherever you may be today. So on behalf of our pastor, Gerald K. Simpkins, and of course, the Solid Rock family, we would like to welcome each and every one of you into the house of the Lord. Amen? Oh, I am so happy, glad about the word of the Lord. Amen? That keeps us close and dear to God. So I just want to say to everybody today, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, no matter who don't like you, no matter who likes you, no God loves you through it all. Amen? So I just want to welcome you to Solid Rock Church of God in Christ. Know that we love you, and we encourage you to hold on to the word of God. Amen? God bless you all, and welcome, 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 welcome. God bless you. I feel so good. I can just dance up here, but... all of you today. This is the honor of the Lord. We so grateful. We are so grateful. Amen. To be in the house of the Lord, as Mama Denise to say one more time. 
one more time. Amen. It could not have been that way. Glory to God. With the way things are going today, glory to God, some folks is in the hospital or some folks have, uh, glory to God, had, had to quarantine themselves. Glory to God. But we were able to make it here today. Isn't that all right? Glory to God. We got our masks on. Glory to God. And wear your mask. Glory to God. I understand some things are turning around. We got to take care of ourselves. Can I talk to somebody? Glory to God. You got to take you some good sense. I know I was going to say use common sense, but common sense ain't common no more. Glory to God. Glory to God. You, use some good sense. Glory to God. Put your mask on. The wife said, that's too restrictive. I can't breathe. You can breathe. You, you can breathe. Glory to God. It's, it's, I just want to know this. It's a lot less restrictive than one of those intubators. I know that. I ain't never been on no anybody, but you don't have to convince me. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. So I, I'm just sharing with everybody today. Come on, let's, uh, until you get up to sing your song, your solo. Glory to God. Sister Williams, you get up, you get a solo. You and Sister Jackson, y'all gonna sing a duet. Glory to God. Amen. Until that happens. <laughs> Put on your mask. Amen. And then, uh, glory to God, everybody will be comfortable and safe. We've seen that we have uh, reinstituted some of our protocols from before, amen, because this Delta variant, glory to God, is not playing. And, and I don't think we ought to play with it. Glory to God. Uh, we all, I don't think we ought to play with it now. You know, I'm just telling you now, everybody can make your own decision. But, you know, somebody shared with me that they, you know, they don't want to take the vaccine because, you know, there's metal in it and they're going to be able to find out where you are, track you. How many of y'all leave your house without your phone for more than a day? Raise your hand. Come on, be honest. But then they tracking you already. You already tracked. And if you mess with them, they'll tell you what you talked about a month ago and to who you talked with. I'm just saying, glory to God. So it ain't about tracking. I know, I know, I know, glory to God. And they say, glory to God, they're going to give us a, some kind of, you know, vaccine that they used on the Tuskegee Airmen. I understand, but it was a sister that helped to create this thing. So I probably don't think she's going to do that to the folks. Glory to God. I don't know what's in it. I know. But how many of y'all take Advil? Tylenol. Some of y'all ain't going to raise your hand because y'all don't know what I'm going to say, right? I don't know, man. Right? See what you're going to say first. Glory to God. Aspirin. Come on, raise your hand if you take Tylenol, aspirin, Advil, you know. Glory to God. Now, I want all of y'all chemists to tell me what's in the ingredients in Advil and Tylenol and aspirin. Tell me. Nobody can? Good. You take that, <laughs> you don't know what's in it. Glory to God. Well, you got to understand, we've got to be careful, amen, not to get caught up with other folks' stuff. Finally, for all of the religious people, all you deep theologians, glory to God, it ain't the mark of the beast. Can't be the mark of the beast. Because I haven't been raptured yet. The mark of the beast can't come until I get raptured. I'll be gone by three and a half years. Can I talk to somebody? So as your pastor, I want you to do, you can do what you want. God bless all of you. Do what you want. But I do want to encourage you that you do have personal freedoms. But personal freedoms come at a price. And they come with responsibility. Amen. You got children and, and, grand, and parents and grandparents and you got cousins and nephews and neighbors and uh, you got a pastor that want to be healthy. So, hey man, get your vaccine. Your, I can't, don't, I don't know where to go. Go to Walmart. They give it to you free. Matter of fact, when you're in there buying some bread, you probably hear them say over the loudspeaker, we're giving away free COVID shots in the pharmacy right now. There's no wait. Glory to God. Go on over and get your shot. Is that all right? Glory to God. Uh, I just want to encourage you. Pastor, that don't sound like the Bible. I don't know. But, but I must preach with the Bible in one hand and the newspaper in the other, common sense in the other. Amen. We, we, we need to mix, 
know how to live this life so that we can get all of that God has for us in this life. Can I talk to somebody? Amen. The Lord is good. Listen, there's so much going on. Solid Rock, I'm shifting. There's a lot going on. Solid Rock is involved in so much. Of course, you know, we're always in the community trying to bless the community, bless our own house as well as bless the community. Uh, that's what we're about. That's what we do. Amen. And so we've got some things I want to share with you in just a minute, the announcements. Glory to God. And, uh, and so we're going to kind of move forward with that in just a minute. But before we go any further, let me uh, encourage you all. Let's worship the Lord in the ministry of giving. Come on, let's do that again. Let's worship the Lord in the ministry of giving. How? Yes, wonderfully. Glory to God. Wonderful. We understand, glory to God, that God has been good to us. And we understand his requirements. His thing was he, first of all, blessed you with whatever you have. I mean, you know, that's right. He blessed you with whatever you have. And then in the word, he said, I want you to just give me 10% of what I gave you. And then I'm going to bless you with some more. The 10%, the tithe, glory to God, uh, is what God is God's money anyway. It's God's blessing anyway. But your sacrifice is your offering. So above the tithe, you give your free will offering, and that's your sacrifice. So we're encouraging everybody to sow that seed. You can give with GiveLify. I think you see it on the screen there. GiveLify and with Cash App, PayPal. And, of course, you can mail your checks uh, or money orders to 5970 Thornton Avenue in Newark, California, 946. 94560, 94560, glory to God. But Deacon, glory to God, glory to God. But Deacon, Brother Deacon, you got to get out of the middle because you're in the camera. I know you're a star, but I'm just saying. <laughs> glory to God. That's my. Well, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, uh, now that y'all have seen him, I want you all to clap your hands. He is our new head deacon of the Solid Rock Church. Glory to God. He is our new head deacon in Solid Rock Church. He is a faithful, hardworking man, a man of integrity and character. Glory to God. Good moral character. And uh, this man is selfless and humble. Glory to God. And uh, if you get into it with him, he disagree. He don't be telling him, man, you so wrong. He'll just say, well, bless the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. So. Amen. So we praise God for each one of you today. If you got your seed, would you please stand on your feet? Those of you at home, glory to God. If you'll just raise that seed in your right hand along with those at home. Come on, raise your right hand with the seed in that hand. Um, you know, that God's going to bless it. it. God's right hand is, is the power, provision, prosperity. Glory to God. Brethren, when they, um, when they have prepared to give, I'm going to ask you to just go around the outside and receive it. Uh, go to their row and receive it on the outside. Is that all right? Uh, glory to God. Father, we thank you now. We bless and praise you. We lift your name on high. You are good to us, marvelous and wonderful, faithful God. We ask that you bless this seed now. Return it to the sower, 30, 60, 100 fold. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen, amen, and amen. God bless you all. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Blessed be the rock in my salvation. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's certainly good to be in the house of the Lord. I am Missionary Benita Hunter. I am here to bring your announcements and Sister Stevenson's almost absence. Amen? <laughs> so um, our announcements. 
Um, this week, beginning on Tuesday, is our NorCal 2021 Holy Convocation. Amen. Our Holy Convocation is all week long. Amen. Amen. You will see in the announcements, if you do not get Solid Rock E-Club, please see Missionary Burnett before you leave. Bishop and Bishop Macklin and Mother Hunt, our leaders of NorCal, are calling us to all NorCal join a call this evening at 8 p.m. Amen. You will get the dial-in information in your emails. Amen. This evening at 8 p.m. Somebody say 8 p.m. Amen. You heard me. So Pastor talked about our Community Day of Action, which will happen on August 14th. On that day, we will be giving away household goods, we will be giving away groceries, we will be giving away backpacks and school supplies. Amen? Amen? Amen. So in order for us to do that, we are having a backpack drive. Somebody say Thrive with Five. Thrive with Five. Amen. We are asking for each member to donate five empty backpacks. Amen. Each member to donate five empty backpacks. That is here and in the Tracy location. Amen. We need to send our babies back to school ready to learn on their first day. Amen. These school districts have moved up. Going back to school, it used to be at the end of August, especially in Fremont and Newark and Union City. It is now August 12th in Newark and August 18th in Fremont, amen? So let's rally together. I know we don't have a lot of time. So we are going to Thrive with Five. Say that again with me, Thrive with Five. We are accepting backpacks from our friends, from our family members, from our jobs. Some of our jobs will match 50% of whatever we do. They'll match it, amen? When you go to work next week, run to your HR department, amen? Your accounting department, your legal department, and ask them what your philanthropy policy is, amen? You donate two backpacks, let them donate three, amen? Amen? So we're collecting backpacks July 30th through August 8th. Next Sunday, I want all of you, plus your friends and family members, to bring your five backpacks and sit them on the altar so we can pray over them before we put them out into solid rock first. Our babies need to go back to school well, too. Amen? Amen. Our families need groceries. Our family needs household goods. We will take care of our family first. Amen? Amen, and we will support the community. Anything that God does, he does well. Little is much when God's in it. He will multiply everything that you do because we are giving selflessly. Amen? Amen. So that is on the 8th, next Sunday. Please bring your five backpacks, empty backpacks. They must be 15 inches. And then y'all that want to volunteer to fill those backpacks with me, y'all come on out. I will let you know when we can come in here and have a party with it. Amen? With our masks on, like Pastor said, our masks, not masks. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I thank you all for this time and space. God bless you all. Have a blessed week. I'm putting my microphone mask assist back on. <laughs> Bethany, hallelujah, Jesus. Y'all can tell my iPad saved. I, I, don't, I don't know how I got to this song, whatever it is. Glory to God. Oh, I know. I know. It's one of the songs I downloaded on my iPad, you know. Y'all know I like music, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I like music, so it just kind of pops up there, you know. Glory to God. And, and when I'm wearing my earpiece, 
uh, earlier, I need to apologize to Elder Smith, but he was trying to talk to me and I had my earpiece on, right, the Bluetooth for my, my hearing aids. And he was talking in, the, in my phone, in my ear, they were talking too, you know, Sunday school was going on, glory to God. And I'm listening and trying to hear him. And I, you know, having said all of that, it is my great pleasure and joy, amen, again, to be standing before you on the first Sunday in the month of August in the year 2021. It's good. It's good. It's good. You got to understand, glory to God, that a lot of folks, as we often say, uh, would love to have been here, uh, but they are not here today. Amen. Glory to God. We pray for them, pray for their families, glory to God. But God's given you another chance, glory to God, to kind of get it the way he wants you to get it and to grow in him. Honor the Lord for those elders that are here, Elder Smith. God bless you, Elder Moore, Elder Brown, Elder Gordon. Glory to God to all of you all that are here. We praise God. It is good to see this core clergy uh, in the house, amen. And we honor the Lord, of course, for the jewel of the rock, Lady Sheila and Simpson. And to our church mother, Mother uh, Lily McCoy is here. Amen. I saw Mother Pop in the back there. Good to see you, Mom. Praise God. It's good to see all of you all. Uh, amen, that are here in the Solid Rock, Newark, at the headquarters location. Uh, I want to honor the Lord for all of the missionaries, all the saints and friends, amen, I often say, good to see my friend Moses Sullivan in the back, but I often say, glory to God, that everybody is important in God's kingdom, amen, everybody's important, amen, and so we, we want to make sure that everybody knows that you are important. Let me say this real quick to reiterate what was stated by um, Missionary Hunter. Thank you, Missionary Hunter, for the announcements. But um, this week begins the NorCal 2021 Holy Convocation. Begins on Tuesday. You all clap your hands just in case Bishop is watching this. And so we will begin on Tuesday, and it was going to be um, on Tuesday and Wednesday, virtual, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, would be hybrid, virtual, and in-house. But the fact is, is that because this Delta variant has kicked up so strong, uh, Bishop has always said he was going to reserve the right to make necessary changes to keep the people of God safe. All right. And so we agreed. Uh, he, we all agreed that all the leaders came together and we agreed to talk with him on Friday. And we declared, we determined uh, following his direction that we would do everything uh, virtual with the exception of the jurisdictional leaders, the administrative assistants, superintendents, pastors and their wives. Glory to God and, uh, and their spouses. And uh, so that's going to be uh, inside the uh, jurisdiction district missionaries. Uh, so that's those are the only individuals that will be inside the building, glad tidings proper. But we will have church online. Would you tell somebody, the, my house has the Holy Ghost in it? Because I have the Holy Ghost in it. Right. And so if you have the Holy Ghost and you in your house, your house ought to be full and the Holy Ghost ought to move, cause you to run up and down the hallways, give God some praise, dance on your living room carpet, whatever it takes. Amen. Glory to God. How many know when you got the Holy Ghost, you can shout in the kitchen? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I want to encourage everybody and want anybody, Bishop, in fact, uh, it's, it was so important to Bishop, and he didn't want anybody to be let down. He met with the pastors, of course, first last night. Uh, he called me, I don't know, maybe about six or so, and said, Sam, I, Administrative Assistant Simpkins. No, he didn't say it like that. <laughs> he said, Sam, glory to God, I need you to get in touch with all the pastors. Doc, I need you to tell them to get online with me. So he got online about 8.30, and he talked to the pastors, and he said, now I want you to make sure that the people know at 8 o'clock on Sunday night, I want to tell them. I want to share with them what's going on. I want to share with them my heart. Amen. And so today at 8 o'clock, he'll be on the uh, NorCal Zoom line. Uh, if you get the announcements, you'll see that Zoom line number. Amen. 510-917-8000. Uh, uh, you'll join him online and you'll be able to be a part of what's going on. Ask any questions you want to ask. Glory to God and get a good understanding. And all thy getting understanding amen so i want to encourage all of you today 
uh, that that's what's going to take place this week. The Holy Convocation will go on, though, just as we have laid it out. Amen. On Thursday, those that are licensed, it's going to be Women's Day. Uh, glory to God. And um, and so they were going to honor uh, Mother Barker, uh, Mother Hunt. Glory to God. They're going to have that day on Wednesday. And they're also going to license all the missionaries for this year. Saturday, we're going to license or, or ordain all of the elders. Glory to God, um, we're going to have, um, Superintendent Harris is going to preach in the convocation this year. Glory to God, he's going to be preaching Wednesday night. Superintendent Harris, glory to God. And uh, so we're excited about all that's going on with the Lord, amen, and what he's doing amongst the people of God, amen. Um, I want you again to join us. I, I know we're going to be doing this major uh, community impact event on the 14th. That Saturday morning where we're going to be giving out merchandise, we're going to be giving out food, and we're going to be giving out backpacks and, and that kind of thing. But I need some help during the week, Wednesday and Thursday. I need some help, glory to God, because we're going to have to drive to pick up. We're going to have to get one of those big old trucks with the lift on the back. I haven't driven one of them trucks in like 30 years, you know. I hope it's like riding a bicycle where you never forget. It ain't like that the other month. All right. So then some of these brothers gonna come have to hit. They don't have to hit. They don't have to hit me. Glory to God. In any event, we're going to gather uh, on on th Wednesday and go pick up all the merchandise and we'll come back and, and store that here. Glory to God. And it'll be here when we come back on Saturday to give it out. And then um, and then we're gonna come back Thursday and we gotta go pick up the food. Now, you know, it's gonna go from here and some of it's gonna to go to the valley, to the uh, location we have in Salarat Valley. And so we're going to, at both locations, be blessing our, uh, blessing our community in as much as that's what God's called us to do. Amen? Glory to God, we do not live unto ourselves, amen? That's kind of like what I'm gonna talk about today. What I'm gonna talk about today. Would you do me a favor? Would you stand and then bow your heads? Now, Father, we want to just thank you. Thank you because you've been so very good to us. You've watched over us and you've kept us. And God, you continue to meet all of our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God, you put us together. It was by your will. You ordained the fact that we were all here today, that we have been connected through you by the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And so thank you, Lord. Bless us today and cause us to remember just how important we are to one another. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've done. We give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. All will sing how great. How great is our God. Come on and help me sing this song. Sing with me. Sing with me. Sing with me. Sing with me. Sing
Please stand for the reading of God's word. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Beginning at verse number 1. Glory to God. So I, the prisoner for the Lord, appeal to you to live a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. That is to live a life that exhibits godly character, moral courage, personal integrity, and a mature behavior, a life that expresses gratitude to God for your salvation. With all humility, forsaking self-righteousness, and with gentleness, maintaining self-control, with patience, bearing with one another in unselfish love. i got to read that again. With patience, bearing with one another, with unselfish love. Make every effort to keep the oneness of the spirit in the bond of peace. Each individual working together to make the whole successful. There is one body of believers, one spirit, just as you are called into one hope. When you are called into salvation, uh, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one Lord and God and father of all who is sovereign over all and working through all and living in all. On your way to your seat, would you just declare the unifying power of the Holy Ghost? Come on, say it again. The unifying power of the Holy Ghost. You may take your seats. I am here. I just want to share with you this morning the importance of understanding that none of us is an island. And that all of us are interconnected and interdependent upon one another. We need, would you look at somebody and tell them, I need you. I need you. Glory to God. And it's important to understand that I know that some people act like they don't need nobody or even maybe believe that they can do everything by themselves. But the fact of the matter is they have not done everything by themselves. Glory to God. You had a parent, glory to God, that fed you or someone fed you growing up. Glory to God. Somebody put some clothes on your back. Amen. Somebody gave you a job. Glory to God. Somebody took care. Everybody needs somebody. Amen. And it is important to understand, glory to God, that when we have the Holy Ghost, he is only one spirit. And so he connects us brother to brother, sister to sister, family members by the power of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Anybody glad to have somebody that can pray with you? Glory to God. Anybody glad? I can't get no help on the talk over here. Anybody glad to have somebody that will call on the name of the Lord for your benefit? Glory to God. Anybody glad that you don't have to do everything by yourself? Glory to God. I know you can do a lot, but some stuff you just can't do by yourself. Sometimes you need somebody, glory to God, to say something to you. Say something nice to you. Glory to God. You, you, you walk around, you act like you're happy. Glory to God. You got a whole bunch of smile on the outside, but on the inside, the tears are flowing like a waterfall. Glory to God. You act like you don't need nobody, but all on the inside, glory to God, you feel like just as lonely as can be. Sometimes in a crowd of folk, you feel lonely. Well, I don't have nobody I can really talk to. I have nobody that's really my friend. I have nobody that's really, listen, the Lord said, I have put some people in your life if you just let me in. I've given you some help. You ain't, you don't have to try and figure this thing all out by yourself. Glory to God, you've got some help here. Glory to God, would you tell somebody you've got some help here? Look at him, don't be just saying it because pastor said it. Say it with some commitment. Glory to God, you've got some help here. Glory to God, you've got some help. And if you tell me, I ain't going to tell nobody else. Let me see who will say that. 
Just a few people. <laughs> but if you tell me, glory to God, I'm not going to put it on Facebook. If you share it with me, glory to God, I'm not going to share it with everybody else. Ah, you got some help here. You got somebody to lighten the load to lift the bed and glory to God. You got some help here. And you've got to understand, glory to God, that, that as Paul writes this letter uh, to the church at Ephesus, glory to God, he writes them, glory to God, more than likely he's writing them while he's himself in chains. I'm sorry, when he writes this letter, glory to God, he writes it and he's in chains. But Paul is not in all the chains that are that bind him negatively because he himself has chained himself to the gospel. I said he's chained himself to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In fact, that's a good example for all of us to chain ourselves to the word of God. Amen. To chain ourselves so that we can't break free and live some other kind of life. Find some other kind of settling. Find somebody else or something else to take the place of the Lord. We heard this song just a few weeks ago by, by Jonathan McReynolds about whatever it is, move it over, Lord. Glory to God. Sometimes you got to tell the Lord all of this bad attitude, move it over, Lord. It's all of this selfishness moving all over. Glory to God. All of this jealousy. Some of my friends. All of this Facebook and television. Glory to God. How I feel about all them clothes in my closet. I thought I'd wipe the sweat on that one. Glory to God. You, 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 you got to get to a place where you decide nothing is more important to my service to the Lord than the Lord himself. I've got to bless the Lord all my soul and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Glory to God. I want to live in such a way as to bring glory and honor to the Lord. I want to preach the gospel with my life, with my lifestyle, with the way I walk. I want to preach a righteous message. I want to live with more integrity. Glory to God. I can't live as a liar. I can't live as a deceiver. I can't be trying to get over on folk. God, move it over. Yeah, but other folks is doing it, and they say, I don't know what they are, but I know what God requires of me. I just read it. He said, walk with moral integrity. Glory to God. He said, maintain self-control. Forsake self-righteousness. Tell somebody, you bad, but it ain't all about you. I gotta learn like Paul learned. Yeah. Glory to God. It's important because Paul felt like glory to God because of all that I've gone through. The fact that the Lord pulled me out of darkness and brought me into this marvelous light. He said, I owe a debt to Christ. I owe the Lord. Anybody in here owe the Lord? Glory to God. He said, I owe a debt, glory to God. He said, but this debt I'm going to pay by blessing his people. I'm going to pay God back by blessing God's people. In fact, he writes in Romans chapter 1, verse 14, I have a duty to perform and a debt to pay both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, to the cultured and the uncultured, both to the wise and to the foolish. So for my ready and eager to preach the gospel also to you who are in Rome, and you who are from San Jose, and you who are from Oakland, and you who are from Hayward and Fremont, glory to God, you who are from North and Richmond. He said, I'm here to preach the gospel to every creature because I owe God my whole life. <laughs> Got to get to a place where God is uppermost and has priority in your life. You got to get there. Paul believed so strongly in Christ and what a difference the Lord had made in his life that Paul was willing to go to prison and as I first said, to be chained to the gospel. Chained to the gospel. Paul is writing the church in Ephesus himself from prison. 
But most likely, he was in physical change. But while in physical change, he was not burdened by the change, but his burden was that he was able to, he wanted to preach the gospel to those who had not received the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. There wasn't a proud, there wasn't a self-righteous, there wasn't a self-absorbent way going on with Paul. He wanted to bless others. How about us? Where are we? If somebody says something to you that hurts your feelings, glory to God. If somebody lies on you, can 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 you still minister to them? If somebody tells somebody something you told them, can you still forgive them? If somebody, glory to God, gets smart with you, and in public, no less. And other folks hear it. And they start doing like we did when we was little kids. Y'all didn't do that. But they, they start doing like we did. Ooh. Ooh. Don't let him get away with that. You hear what he said about you? Because some folks just want to see turmoil. Some folks live for destruction. Some folks are always kicking up dust. Yeah, they're always kicking up dust. They just like to live in dust. They want to see you going on. So while you back and forth with somebody else, they getting the Come on. And we inside see. Some of us go to God. I have to confess, I like boxing. I have to confess, I like boxing. I was watching it this week. Glory to God. But I don't want to get in the ring. I just watch it. And some folks are like that even in the church. They don't want to get in the ring. They just want to see you fight. They just want to see you go through. But would you look at somebody and tell them, I'm stronger, united with my brother and sister. The power of the Holy Ghost is uniting. It's authoritative. It's formidable. The power of the Holy Ghost is formidable. As a matter of fact, when two, glory to God, the Bible talks about the fact that when you and I get together and we agree, the Holy Ghost is so powerful, he messed the devil up. Folks can get healed. Folks can get delivered. Folks can get saved. and Folks' lives will change. When we agree, yeah. Jesus shares with them in Matthew chapter 18. He says, again, I say to you that if two believers on earth agree, that is, are of one mind and in harmony about anything that they ask within the will of God, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. He didn't say they had to touch and agree. He just said that they had to agree and be in harmony about anything they ask in the will of God. Now, what a promise is that? The power of the two of us overriding the destructive attack of the enemy. The power of us agreeing. I know you and these power out to and I'm in Hayward, but the power of us agreeing unites us through the Holy Ghost. And the devil get crushed in the middle. And I talk to somebody. Instead of us, war is mean and crying. We shout and give God glory. Why are you praising God going through what you're going through? Oh, because me and Shandy have agreed that whatever came against him is defeated. We just keep walking together because we're looking for the breakthrough. Come on, say, with expectation. We're looking for God to open the door. We're looking for God to give us a breakthrough. We're looking for God to turn it around. We're looking for God to set it straight. We're looking for God to lift us up. We're looking for, I'm waiting on the Lord. 
Bible tells me wait on the Lord and do what? Be of good courage. Somebody shout good courage. Right in the chat box, good courage. Glory to God. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting door. Glory to God. The King of glory shall come in. You got to lift up your head. Sometimes you just got to encourage yourself in the Lord. Right. with somebody. Glory to God. There's unfathomable power when the Holy Spirit unites us. They measure the strength of power that we have when we are united. The Bible talks about this, glory to God in Proverbs, uh, that two are better than one. We have a better reward for the living. God. And at the end of that, talks about a threefold cord, not easily broken. You've got to understand something, saints, that the two of us are greater than the one plus one. One plus one equals. 101. 1,001, 1,001, by the Holy Ghost, glory to God. And you've got to understand that sometimes, sometimes we can get connected with folks who, some folks, some folks challenge you. You want to love them, but they challenge you. You want to help them, but they challenge you. You know, some folks are just challenging. Nobody in here. But I'm saying some folks are difficult to deal with. That's why we have to endeavor to keep the unity of the peace and the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Work at it. Come on, tell somebody, work at it, work at it. Put it in the chat box, work at it. Quit giving up on folks so quickly. I kind of got an amen or two right now. Don't give up on folks so quickly. They're struggling just like you are. You can't judge somebody by one incident in their life. Look at the body of the relationship. Come on, don't give up on folks so quickly. Hold on. Don't you know? I know you don't believe this, but there was a time in your life when you needed somebody to be patient with you. I did not expect a whole lot of amen there either. But we all need somebody to just hold on for us. Matter of fact, we need somebody to hold on to us. Don't let me go. Tell somebody, don't let me go. Don't. I'm going to come around, but, but, but don't give up on me. Don't throw in the towel on me. First Peter. Well, verse chapter 4 says, above all, have fervent and unfailing love one for another. Because love covers a multitude of sin, it overlooks unkindness and unselfishly seeks the best for others. It overlooks unkindness. They might not have been kind to you, but love, fervent love, a love on fire, overlooks some stuff. Yeah, be hospitable to, hospitable to one another without complaint. I'm going to do it for you, but Again? Ring, ring, ring. Then again? Be hospitable to one another without complaint. Just as each one of you has received a special gift, a special talent, an ability graciously given by God, employ it, serving one another as appropriate for as good stewards of a God's multifaceted grace, faithfully using the diverse, varied gifts and abilities granted Christians by God's unmerited favor. Check this out. Whatever you have, whatever gift you have, whatever money you have, whatever health you have, you didn't give it to you. God gave it to you. God, in fact, 
God entrusted it to your care as a faithful steward. And so you've got good intelligence and you don't want to help nobody learn anything. You got a skill for cooking and won't share the recipe. I know I should be talking over here because Brother Burnett, the only one said amen on that one. You have the gift of building cars at the more glory to God, and I need somebody to help me with my skateboard. Come on. gift you have, God gave it to you. Yeah. Share it yeah. to the building up of the body of Christ. Y'all might be working over, cooking over some greens, glory to God, and in the process of the conversation that takes place, somebody might accept Jesus as Lord and Savior because you are preaching with your life, not necessarily with your words. Somebody said something harsh to you, but rather than chewing them up, which you had the ability to do, you bless them. How loud of a rebuke is a blessing when an argument would have been appropriate? How loud of an encouragement or a message? And so I want to encourage all of us today. Let me read this final scripture, glory to God. I want to read this final scripture because it, it was our opening scripture. And one of the verses in that scripture really speaks to where we are today. I want to talk about unity. We've been talking about unity. We've been talking about the Holy Ghost. And I want to talk about the fact that the Holy Ghost, in fact, unifies us. If we're not unified, if we're fighting, if we're at odds with each other, I don't care how you speak in tongues, it ain't the Holy Ghost. Brother Gordon, am I all right today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If we're standing on one corner and he's on the other corner and we're throwing rocks in, who can hit the other one? Even if you hit him, the Holy Ghost didn't guide that rock. Some people are going to be difficult to deal with. Just know it. That's a part of life. And some people are only going to be difficult to deal with in this season, in this moment, in this time. But next week, they're going to be a different person. Some people, well, the truth of the matter is some people have been difficult for a long time. And, and the truth of the matter is they might be difficult for a long time to come. You just don't know. You don't know. God knows. Because, see, we're dealing with them in this little area, but God's dealing with them all of their life. Not only in this age, but the age that they were and the age that they will be. God knows them all. So I want to share this as we go back, glory to God, to Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 3. Just to remind you. Matter of fact, you can stay. You can stay. I'm through. Only one closing today. <laughs> now go have four closings. One closing. Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 3 it says, Make every effort to keep the oneness of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Make every effort go out of your way to keep the oneness, the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Each individual working together to make the whole successful. Each one of us has an important part to this puzzle of all life. Each of us make up strength in this assembly. We're all here by divine appointment. You didn't just happen up. But God drew you here Gave you guidance, gave you direction through all the stuff we went through mountains, valleys, storms, rain, deserts, glory to God, even the floods. 
but he brought us here for this very moment so that you would know that we are united in Christ. We are one in him. Somebody write in the chat box, I am one in Christ. We, we are one in Christ. This, 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 this afternoon, just want to share with each one of you that the Holy Ghost is a unifying power. And if we're both operating in his power, we're not going to be fighting each other because the Holy Ghost don't fight himself. We're going to have struggles. Would you tell somebody, you're going to make it out. You'll be victorious too. You're going to make it out and you're going to be victorious too. It might not go the way you want it to go, but God has a way that's going to be the blessed, the best blessing for you. God does. Bow your heads, lift your, lift your right hand, if you will. Father, as I stand this morning and encourage us to be patient with one another, kind, and to be loving and caring, supportive undergirding one another. God, I pray that you would remind us of where each one of us can be a blessing to somebody else. That you would bring to our hearts, bring to our minds, bring to our consciousness a person or persons we can be a blessing to. It might be a bit of a sacrifice, but God is nowhere near the sacrifice you made on our behalf. So God, would you remind us, and if you do so, we will follow you. We will obey you and we will be that blessing you called us to be. Thank you for each of these under the sound of my voice. Bless them now. My heads are bowed. There might be somebody who has come to a place where you know God is calling you to surrender your life to him completely. Not just in word, but in word and in lifestyle, life's behavior. You are ready to make that necessary change to completely give your life to Christ or to surrender all of your life to Christ. If that's you, please lift both hands right where you are. Lift both hands. I'm going to see if there's a shift. Glory to God. Just lift both hands. That's it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Great. Come on, say this with me. Lord Jesus, from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Save me now. Save me now. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. Now, God, I surrender everything. Have your way in my life. And by faith in your word, I declare I am saved. Come on, say it again. I am saved. Come on, would you look at somebody and declare, I am saved. Now, give God a praise all over the earth. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. That's wonderful. Amen. We praise God. Listen, I'm getting ready to dismiss. I want to thank you all for being here. Amen. This Sunday morning and encourage you tonight. Join on the NorCal uh, Zoom line and you'll get some updated information. We're getting ready to have communion. Amen. Right now. And then we're on our way out of here. Amen. Thank you, Missionary Omir. Glory to God. This is what I want to do. Elder uh, Smith is going to come and to read the scriptures. You may take your seat. He's going to come and read the scripture. Glory to God. Those of you who do not have communion, uh, glory to God. If you'll raise your hand, the missionary will bring you a communion packet. Glory to God. So you can commune. Please understand that communion, glory to God, is our celebrating the uh, broken body and the shed blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, and so I want to encourage all of you, glory to God, that if you are saved, I know that the enemy will tell you, you know you shouldn't commune. You said something the other night. Glory to God. You did something you shouldn't have did. But if you ask God to forgive you right now and mean it from your heart, then you're forgiven. You're forgiven. And it is from there. So if anybody needs a communion cup, just raise your hand. Missionary uh, Edmondson, our head musician, our head missionary. Glory to 
Right here. Yeah, there you go. Glory to God. He's going right here, missionary. Glory to God. Glory to God. And and yes, down here. Glory to God. Brother Smith is going to come and uh, he's going to read for us the scripture. Glory to God. And after he is read, Elder Moore is going to come and pray God's blessing over the broken body and the shed blood of our Lord. Amen. The reading of the scripture, 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, verse 23. For I received of the Lord that which also I deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he thanked it, and he said, break, break it, and he said, take, eat, this is my body which was broken for you. Uh, do this in remembrance of me. And in the same manner, he also took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, this cup, it's the New Testament, the New Covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in the remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, as well as you eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord, in an unworthy manner, you will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of this bread and drink of this cup. For he that eat and drink it in an unworthy manner, eat and drink it judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this man, we are weak and sickly among you, and we sleep. May the Lord bless the reading of the scripture. Father, here we close our eyes. Father God, we love you. We thank you. We're standing all over the building. God, we thank you for your broken body, God, how you provided for us, God, a way closer to you, God. Even your shed blood, we acknowledge, amen, this cup, this blood, God, this broken body, God, that you have done in the first, God. We thank you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do that in just a moment, Sister Hill. We're getting there, precious. Bless you, dear. Glory to God. God bless. On the night when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was betrayed, he took bread, and after he had broken it, glory to God, he gave to each one of his disciples, said to them, take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you, the body of the Lord, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Like manner afterwards, he took the cup, the fruit of the vine, which represented his blood, the blood that was shed for the remission of sins. For all time, the blood was shed one time. We are forgiven of our sins. We just seek his face, the blood of the Lord, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood, I know it was the blood for me. Oh, one day when I was lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. Oh, I know it was the blood, yeah. I know, I know it was the blood for me. Streaming down, the blood came streaming down. Yes, it did. Hey, yes, it did. One day when I was lost, you died on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. The Bible says on that night they sang a hymn and they went out. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Happy this Sunday. Glory to God. God bless you. Amen.